Did you know during a thunderstorm it is recommended to not take a shower or to be sitting on the toilet? Why? Our Aspen Shepherd has the do's and don'ts for when the storm hits. Thunderstorms are starting to really develop east of Burns, moving up toward Baker City. Also thunderstorms, you've seen this typical, moving up through the Twin Falls area. Monday afternoon when the storm hit, a group of walkers were on Perrine Bridge in Twin Falls. They shared photos in our Facebook Weather Watchers page. An electrifying walk, you could say. We asked KTVB meteorologist Sophia Bliss how this happens. When lightning tries to form, it's a big separation of both positive charges and negative charges. And the negative charges are uh, in the bottom of the storm cloud. If you want to think of it kind of as like a electrically charged tentacle trying to reach towards the surface, there's a positive charge that will emerge from the, the surface as well. And when those connect, that's when lightning happens. The walkers were right in the middle of that. Does that mean danger? Let's get out. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. That means danger. Leave that place right now. No picture is worth you. You have to stay safe. You have to take care of yourself. The group of walkers say in the Facebook post they left and got back into their car within five minutes. Meteorologist Sophia Bliss says if you're out and about when a thunderstorm hits, try and get somewhere covered, like a building or a car. Getting in the car can be a great option if you're out in the open, um, and it will keep you safer because most of the cars have metal bodies. But being in your car doesn't guarantee you won't get struck. I'm doing okay, how about yourself? It still happened to Angela Ruffing from Twin Falls. It was 2005 when she and her mother were traveling home from the Boise airport. The clouds just started rolling in, a really dark gray, just terrible clouds and it just started pouring rain. Well, just out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it just a big old flash, the brightest flash you could see. And it sounded like a crash, boulders crashing. It felt like we had a flat tire. They pulled over and got out. Without any damage, they got back in their car and made it home safe. Now I'm petrified of lightning. For those who stay inside and off the roads, there's still a few things to keep in mind. And we've got the question, can I be in the shower when there's a storm going on or maybe even sitting on the toilet? Mm -hmm. Per your <laughs> answer, I guess that's a no. In general, get away from any plumbing, any cords or windows also. There are rare instances where lightning can actually make it inside through a window through cracks. So that goes for no washing dishes either. Yep, we're not gonna be yep. at the sink. Yes. And do you have any good kind of rule of thumb that kind of indicates it's pretty serious? Well, I think the best guidance is if you hear thunder, so if thunder roars, go indoors. And that's the safest way to be. You can actually use the time difference from when you see lightning first and then hear thunder to estimate how far away lightning is from striking. For every five seconds, it's one mile, so 30 seconds is six miles. And meteorologist Sophia Bliss says lightning can strike 10 to 15 miles outside of a storm. Joe, it's really about staying safe, knowing your surroundings, knowing what your options are so that when the storm hits, everyone's prepared. It's crazy because you have a bolt like this that was captured by one of our viewers and I saw some of the videos that we yep. showed today. Boy, people found themselves quickly closely to the storm. Yes, they did. And so everyone kind of being on the same page and knowing what to do when that hits is, is key. Timely reminder and thank you to Sophia Bliss for joining us on that piece. We're going to step aside, but we'll be back with your live comments after a quick break.